Okay, so you want to mod your own music into Cyberpunk 2077. I'm here to show you how. If you want to get, you know, your own custom songs or just songs you find on YouTube or SoundCloud, I'm going to show you how to do that and get your clubs, radios, your cars sounding like this. Okay, so I've got a little peep plan, obviously rest in peace. I've got a couple other stations modded uh, with my custom songs. That's uh, real, real quick and easy. If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to go ahead and go through that right now. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to need these three programs. Um, I use Audacity for the audio editing software, but you can just use any uh, any software that you choose. Um, I just use Audacity because it's free and easy. So once you have your song that you chose and you've got the MP3 downloaded, um, just go ahead and move that into a safe folder. I've got one right here. Open up Audacity and just drag and drop that song in there or you can do multiple songs at once if you just want to do the whole radio station um, you can also do that uh, and I just want to preface this by saying uh, this is not like the radio extension mod um, that mod only adds extra radio stations it doesn't replace the the files themselves in the game so it won't the songs that you add in they won't occur naturally they'll only be on like the radio in the car um, or like the the, the walk-in radio um, so this will actually replace the file, so it'll show up like in the clubs, like you like you saw before, um, and it'll show up just around the world while you're walking around. Uh, gets gets a little bit more immersion that way, I feel. Um, so once you've got that file here, uh, you're just going to export audio. Make sure you've got it going to the right folder. So I've got one here for the uh, WAV files. Um, that's what you're going to be converting them to. So just open up that folder you're going to be saving it to. Click Save and Export. There we go. Now that that's done, you don't even have to save that there. Now that that's done, you should see the converted file as a .wav file in that folder you selected. Once that's done, you're going to open up the WISE launcher. And you're going to make sure you launch the 2019 version of WISE, not the 2024 version. Go ahead and click that. Open up a new project. Title it whatever you want. And click OK. Click Close. Clean up all that here. All right, so once you're in here in the WISE window, you're going to click Project up at the top left. Click Project Settings, go into Source Settings, and click the three dots by default conversion settings. That'll open up this window and make sure uh, under Vorbis that you select Vorbis Quality High. Click OK. Click OK. Go back into Project and Import Audio Files and click Add Files. Once you're here, you're going to go back into that same folder where you put the WAV file in. So here I have it on my desktop, modding right there. You're going to make sure you select the song or multiple songs if you're doing them all at once. Go ahead and select them all and open. And you should see them all right here. Go ahead and click import. And it doesn't look like it did anything there, but under the after mixer hierarchy, uh, if you click the plus sign under by default work unit, you should see all your songs right there showing up. Uh, so once you've got that, everything looks good. Just go ahead and highlight that, right click, and convert. Don't need to change anything here. Click OK. Should only take a second to encode, and then we'll be moving on to the next step. So for this one, um, if you're doing multiple files at once, replacing the whole radio station, this step might take a little bit longer. Um, since I'm just doing one for the example, uh, it's just it's not going to take too long. But what you're going to have to do is I've got a chart here with all the songs and uh, the times of the songs and which radio station they belong to. I'm not sure who this was made by. Uh, this also doesn't have like the Phantom Liberty songs or anything uh, in here. I just couldn't be bothered to find an updated version, but. I'll be sure to link that down in the description as well. Um, but what you're going to want to do is find a song that's at least the same or around the same time frame as the song that you're replacing. Um, because the way that the, 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 the way that this works is whenever you replace the song, it won't compensate for extra or less time 
Uh, so it'll either just cut the song off early or just add extra silence at the end. Uh, so just make sure it's around the same time frame and you'll be fine. Uh, so for me, the one I'm adding in, it's over nine minutes long, which honestly is pretty long. I'm not going to be able to find one that really fits that very well. I've got one here for eight minutes, which is fine with me. I really don't care about that uh, extra minute. Uh, so what you need to do is find the song that you want to replace right here eight minutes and then select the corresponding hash that's right next to that song um, so what I've got here you're just gonna copy that number and then after you do everything in wise you should have a documents folder with your wise project so go to documents w wise projects and there we go there's the one that I named you're gonna click that put the cache Windows, SFX, and you should see that those uh, same files that you added in. So what you need to do, just find that uh, hash number that corresponds to the song you want to replace. Rename your uh, .wim file to that same hash. So copy, paste, and there we go. 18513826, 18513826. There we go, the same. Um, now we can move on to the next step. All right, so I've got Wolven Kit opened up here. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and create new project, title it once again, whatever you want. Easier just to name it the same thing that you named the uh, Wise project. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, open folder, go into having a brain fart here. Go into your Wise projects and select that same folder. Go to Cache Windows SFX. Select folder, and it'll pop up a little window behind it. Make sure you click that uh, and click finish. Okay, so once we're here, um, you should still have that hash on your clipboard. Just go ahead and copy and paste in that search bar on the right, and it's gonna crash on me. Alrighty, so you're just gonna copy and paste in that search bar, hit enter. And you should see that uh, corresponding hash popping up here. Just double click that. And then that on the left hand side, you can see it automatically creates the correct file structure you need um, for this to work. So once that's in there, you'll just right click that file you just added in. It's going to crash on me again here. We're just going to open it back up. So we're going to select that file we just added in and delete it. Click OK. And that file structure should still be there. Um, once you're there, click Sound Banks, and up at the top, click Open and File Explorer. It'll open up that empty folder, and then you can just drag and drop the renamed WIM file. And just make sure you only drag the, the songs, leave the, the folder, and um, the, the CP mod file as well in the SFX folder. Close that out and close that out. Once that's there, I should see all your songs showing up here. Once again, I'm just doing one for the example. Uh, once you see all of them there uh, and you're all good to go, you're going to click menu up at the top and pack project. And you'll get the success message uh, and you'll have your radio station installed. Yeah, but once you've got that, you should uh, be hearing your custom songs playing on the radio, uh, either in the car, which uh, might even play throughout some clubs or just some of the shops that you're walking around throughout the world. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hoping that everything all worked out for y'all. If running any problems, just go ahead and leave it down in the comments. I'll see what I can do to help. But that should be everything, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.